Even A-list stars need to catch a few Zs every now and then, but their hectic schedules can make snoozing difficult, so it's no wonder so many celebs have been caught falling asleep on live TV, to the palpable delight of Hawkeye Twitter denizens everywhere. Model Chrissy Teigen was caught sleeping by the camera at the 2017 Academy Awards while a mumbly Casey Affleck accepted the lead actor trophy for Manchester by the Sea. Just a few minutes later, Emma Stone won lead actress for La La Land, and Teigen's head was still conspicuously slumped against the shoulder of her hubby John Legend. While Teigen was snoozing, the Twitterverse was very much awake. One enamored fan tweeted, I think my favorite part of the Oscar so far has been Chrissy Teigen sleeping on John. She is my spirit animal. Once Teigen regained consciousness, she simply couldn't resist getting in on all the fun, as she took to Twitter the next morning to ask, just woke up, what happened? In October 2011, legendary musician Harry Belafonte was caught sleeping during an interview on Bakersfield, California's KBAK-TV. After the cameras cut to the supposedly slumbering songsmith, anchor Layla Santiago tried to capture his attention. Harry? Yeah? Yes, wake up, wake up! I hear anything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is your wake-up call, Harry! Following Belafonte's alleged on-air nod-off, his publicist, Ken Sunshine, wrote an energetic statement to TMZ, blaming the musicians literally hundreds of interviews for the early morning meet-cute with the Sandman. He also pointed the finger at a technical glitch in the feed that amounted to a faulty earpiece, which allegedly inspired Belafonte to take the time to meditate. Perhaps sensing this excuse would be viewed as patently absurd, Sunshine doubled down, basically blaming all of us for our fast-paced, work-obsessed ways by saying, maybe the world would be a better place if more people took a moment to meditate. Throughout their long and varied political careers, Hillary and Bill Clinton have both reportedly fought losing battles with the Sandman. On November 19, 2012, then-President Barack Obama gave a gripping speech at the University of Yangon that made history for two reasons. One, it marked the first time an American president had ever visited Myanmar, and two, it featured Hillary Clinton falling asleep on live television. Jet lag was likely the cause of Clinton's sleepiness, and it manifested in telltale symptoms like struggling to keep her eyes open. As she was Secretary of State at the time, we imagine she had some explaining to do to her boss following his speech. Deny, deny, deny. That was Morgan Freeman's strategy after he apparently fell asleep during a remote interview on Q13 Foxes this morning. At the time, Freeman's Now You See Me co-star Michael Caine was waxing poetic on the subtle art of stage magic. Freeman was unable or unwilling to keep his eyes open as Caine chatted with anchors Bill Wixey and Casey Aitchison. But he did, at least, manage to occasionally awaken to nod convincingly, which is the key to winning at life. The gaffe certainly appealed to magazine editors, inspiring The Guardian to Kristen Freeman, the man who can do interviews in a sleep. Freeman's publicist also seemed to be on high alert, emailing the Wall Street Journal an ironclad explanation from the actor. I wasn't actually sleeping. I'm a beta tester for Google eyelids. I was merely taking the opportunity to update my Facebook page. Former NFL coach Mike Ditka could very well be on a secret mission to commit every conceivable faux pas on live television. And if so, we salute him. Before he was strongly suspected of farting on live TV back in 2015, he appeared to fall asleep during a December 2013 episode of ESPN's Sunday NFL Countdown. Fellow analyst Keyshawn Johnson gallantly shook Ditka awake, and then he involuntarily performed a twitchy little shimmy upon coming too. Perhaps he'd been having a bad dream in which he was endlessly falling asleep on live TV. Viewers didn't seem remotely surprised by his trip to the land of Nod, one online commenter ruefully noted, No big deal, I've fallen asleep many times during that program. Here's a doozy of an on-air doze. Conservative pundit Tucker Carlson apparently nodded off in the middle of a 2013 Fox & Friends broadcast, and he was subsequently teased by co-hosts Clayton Morris and Allison Camerata. In fact, Camerata even taunted Carlson by handing him a Starbucks coffee. <laughs> well, I sat in for Sean Hannity last night and it went late. <laughs> So what exactly shook Carlson out of his sleepy spell? He blamed one of the program's cameramen cackling in the background. Best of all, he thought his nap had occurred during a commercial break. After he regained his energy, he offered some advice to viewers. Uh, let me recommend to our viewers, yeah. take a little nap. It can be even if you're on live television. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite TV moments are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.